What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 7 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we discuss the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shred. Hey, everyone. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Yare, yare. <laughs> and we have Cood Spirit. Yes. Uh, we don't have much uh, anime news to discuss this week. I just want to mention... Real quick, the Fire Force manga is about to enter the final arc, and uh, the author is also going to retire after it, so there's that to look forward to. And then... Yeah, I heard in the reports, he said he was just burnt out. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to go right ahead to Tower of God. <laughs> Starting off strong. Oh yeah. Yeah, so... um. Again, like I would say, nothing really happened this week, but it did. But and I'm kind of cliffhanger with the new um, test they're about to do. Uh, more, more just like they just went more in the backstory of Anak and her mom and like the princesses. So we little we know a little bit more about the lore now about how if you're chosen as a princess, you can't like have kids basically. And uh, her mom broke that rule. That's why David, like, David, she was killed. David, there was another part. What there was part? another part? What other part? Don't don't lie to me. You know the other part. What, the other part. Never mind. Continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um. David, continue. <laughs> <laughs> David, they get shoes. Don't you remember that? They get to buy their own special yeah. pair of shoes. Yes. But if they take them off and show four of their five <laughs> toes. Jihad gets very <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah. So. Pretty much, it was just uh, explaining how if these girls, when they climb the tower or whatever, they, they get chosen as like a daughter of Jihad or something around, along those lines. And you're not allowed to have any kids as to not to spread like the power of Jihad because this man apparently is just the god of all gods. So, Told you. Slave labor. That's what I he's doing, was, man. I knew there was another part. But uh, it's like you uh, want to tell us what the other part is. <laughs> is it them getting the power? Is that what you're referring to? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Sure. Like, um, okay. you know, but uh, so do they originally have to climb the tower first, or is it just like kind of a where they're chosen at birth type of deal? I don't remember that. Well, not at birth because they get chosen. They're just okay. So that's that. Gotcha. But do that's... they have to actually climb the tower? I thought Jihad yeah. was just a creep who picks beautiful women. So he's like, "Yeah, I told you guys, he has his own harem I... of women." <laughs> he makes it, okay. He makes it makes it sound like like you're chosen based on your power. That's I think that's the whole. That's why like, in Kuhn's backstory, like it was all about his helping his sister because his sister had to get chosen as a princess. True. So I, I was saying I was I was like uh as like um just to guess I was thinking that um that that. Uh, was it the Bam and then the Rachel that they were basically just like children of uh, the of like basically like that whole thing when they say like they can't have children, but if they somehow let's say like their families was able to have children, I feel like they're just like the those people. That's just my guess. I I'm get, I'm hmm. thinking more about more what uh, Sasha's thinking how like Rachel's prior princess. So now that we like we, know, like, we can't thing, have yeah. kids, whatever like or like or I certain why I mentioned they can't have sex either. I was thinking maybe that's why like she's trying so hard to push Bam away is because like because um she doesn't want to get attached to him like that so that's her son that's the big twist oh, oh, oh. okay <laughs> the question yeah, now is who's the twist. dad okay, okay. There's some Game of Thrones shit right there dude. I'm telling you it's, she's his mother and his lo- <laughs> that doesn't make any sense if that's yeah. right if that's right I'm Venmoing you twenty dollars thanks bro I appreciate that uh, that's so fucked up. Okay. Just to let you guys know, I I did some research and I was trying to figure out how does Jihad get these women because I heard he's pretty ugly once they reveal him, and apparently he walks to the room and he goes up to the girl. He goes, "Jihad, me at hello." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> besides that, uh. We did see, <laughs> we did see, um, so in Dorsey and Anak, or I, I guess like Anak's daughter, I, I, we, sh- we can't call her anyone, anything else besides Anak, so it's hard to, it's hard to say, but they both like, they all, they, they all fell off like the platform and injured themselves, and then they basically just like, got roped into like, just into the group where, with Bomb and all the rest of them, so. 
Dude, Anak is a terrible name too for puns. <laughs> yeah, I. You know what? There's just something about Anak that I, I don't connect with her story. It, like her mom's in the middle of the fire. She's like, go, just go, she goes, ma, 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 which I get. Uh, but man, it's just I just feel no sympathy for this girl. I'm on Team and Dorsey all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, is uh, An- Anak is uh, the lizard? Anak is lizard girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. lizard orphan child. Whatever she is, okay. I'm still not good with these names. I don't know why. Like I'm like I can't remember the first per- or the main person's name. I just remember Ho because it's a sad little horn oh. story. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> jealous of everybody. My Shih Tzu is bad. Boo boo bee boo. <laughs> Dude, his his story is it, yet another parallel to Hunter Hunter because there's a character named Kurapika and his people were killed because they have special scarlet eyes. This guy sounds like his family was killed because they had hordes, horns, but I have no sympathy for those guys. <laughs> I would have killed them too. I'm like, oh, you got a horde? That's fine, buddy. I appreciate you no matter what. Damn, Thaw's <laughs> just a hater. Him in his sleep. <laughs> how, how am I a hater, you man? You hate everyone in the show. Bro, I'm, I'm not, I got my fans. You know, I mean, I, I, I back up. <laughs> back up Jeez. I don't hate in Dorsey. <laughs> I'm on Team Dorsey. Dude, it was like. So I just kept, oh, I just kept thinking when, uh, when, uh, when uh, was the horn guy, he was just basically, so he was just saying like, "Oh, I'm surprised, like you know, you're helping him out." And then the sleeping guy's like, "He's like, isn't it just right to help the weak?" I'm just thinking, Ben, that's a burn, and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> no, I think he does know it. I, I think he does know it. That's why he was frustrated when he. Wait, no, no, no. I mean, I meant like the sleeping guy was basically like, burning the horn guy, yeah. not realizing it because he's oh, you know, talking, he's about, weak. talking about Laurent, like he, like himself didn't know. They use burning. Yeah, him. I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't think the horn guy actually realizes like how far. Like I don't think he. Or I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think the sleeping guy realizes how far the horn guy is Laurent behind and, Bam. And, Laurent and, and basically, yeah. When basically like Bam doesn't like when we just saw him, like he doesn't know a damn thing, and yet somehow now he's like you know shooting water beams. Yeah. I think it's because the turtle. But I have a question. Does Go a guess. sack of like coffee beans really feel like a pillow? Dude, that was no. terrible. Was that coffee bean? No. I, thought, I thought it was just straight up like red beans or no, something. That sounds scary. One, the smell emanating from that sack would keep me awake. Two, those are like just beans in a bag. It, just turning your head like literally a millimeter would make so much noise. How do you fall asleep? <laughs> then again, this guy just seems to sleep uncontrollably. So. He's, he's just in a natural coma for like 75% of his life. Guys, plot twist, he's going to come out of that sleeping bag and be a butterfly. Just wait. Like, his whole thing is, he's in a cocoon. It's a, it's, it's a metaphor. All of a sudden, he becomes Papillon from uh, Boussard. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks like he wears that thong. Oh, man. That thong, the thong, thong, thong. Hey, it can still happen. We haven't had the beach episode yet. That's true. That's true. I hope there's yeah. no beach episode. I don't know. These, these characters and their names, bunch of weirdos, man. Bunch, bunch of just weirdos with potatoes. <laughs> I love how like was it they, they said like only two people passed like and then uh, was rocks one of them and then I, I don't even know the other person. Yeah, don't you remember the spear thrower test? It was just to hit that super far target. Yeah, it was only those two that got it. Who was the other guy? I only remember Rock. Uh, he was on Rachel's team. Oh, that, oh, was, that yeah. weird like, that big, oh, ass big dude guy. That, okay, uh, other guy, dude. Fucking yeah. other chick and then her. He looks like Nemesis from Resident Evil. Right. Yeah. No. Yep. You know this for sure. What do you mean? Isn't he always hooded? No, he took off his hood at one yeah. point and was like, I revealed his mouth. God damn it. He looks just like those things in My Hero Academia. The Nibus, Narrows, whatever they're called. No moves. No moves. No moves. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Anything else significant happen? Nope. Up. It's just the test. You're splitting into two oh. teams and you're playing it. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's where it ended. Yeah. And the, oh, and the, guy. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. red hair guy, who's the voice of uh, the My Hero Academia announcer, but he's he. I think he was the one who like who who messed up the tests with Rachel's team. So now he's doing he this did, one. Yeah. Was, um... yeah, and so he's yeah, it, he's... and they have to, I think team whatever team A or B has to capture him. Are you talking about the ranker for the red haired guy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah, the really rash guy. Yeah, I thought that was just kind of dumb, like how they're like, oh, like they just made him mad. But then there was like nothing that really happened that made him mad. He was just mad. Uh, Oh, I mean, I have an explanation for that, but I don't don't know if it's spoilers or not, or they just kept it up. Because over the course of the anime of uh, uh, Tower of God, they've actually left out a lot of information. 
Yeah, so I, I don't was know if it's say. actually spoilers or not, or do you guys just want me to Wait, tell you why? So, Brian, you are you a manga reader? No, 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 I know somebody that read the um the webtoon. Oh, okay. So I'm just getting all my information from him of whether or not like how the pace is going, what they're leaving out and stuff. And I mean, just, I don't think it's a spoiler. But. Just in case, I mean, I wouldn't mind like if if we just maybe had a, have it at the end of the podcast or. Yeah. You know what? Just say it now. We can edit it out because I don't. I don't really care. It's not like this anime is like super important. Where like, oh, if you find out Bond is really Rachel with short hair, I don't care. <laughs> so, um, Who cares? Yeah, tell you now. <laughs> just go ahead. I don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Go so pretty it. much spoilers. Well, go ahead. <laughs> so like, the power scaling on this is like so pretty much if you're a ranker, you can literally just manhandle anybody else that's under you. So this this. This test giver or whatever this dude is, this ranker, he can legit just wipe the floor with everybody. And like he got mad because he didn't Everyone's think so that they would fight him. So he got pissed off because the way how you really pass is you just try to escape. That's really it. Because there's no way you're beating this guy. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, either way, just a weird episode. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll still watch the show, but it's it's definitely like it's just kind of generic ish at this point. I've and now I've, I'm holding off on giving it that term because I think Strat you mentioned that a lot of people said the show is probably going to get good by the end of the season because that's when it picks up in the webtoon. Yep. Um. So we'll see. We'll see. But it was it was, it was enjoyable. It was decent. But I'll I will say I think that the pacing so far is kind of weird. So I think that's what's throwing us off. Yeah. yeah, I will say like the first three episodes or so, I was like, yeah, this show is pretty interesting. Obviously, it wasn't the greatest, but it was fairly interesting. And now it's, you know, everybody's just leaving their rooms. It feels like an episode of Star Trek or something with those sliding doors and they get out. And I'm like, oh, hey, okay, what's going on there? I'm making <laughs> yeah. some coffee. It seems like they've been in this room for like the entire, like, in the entire show so far. Where yep. it's just like, they just have like one little like game to play and then they go, ba- bas- they go back to the cafeteria room. That's what it looks like. But yeah. uh, from like it just fun when Brian like explained like about the the ranker like I honestly don't think we're gonna get that covered either like the next episode which would I would assume would be like that would be the episode to talk about it but I mean I, I past that like I don't think we're gonna get that explanation because uh, it, it it just sounds like um, even from what uh, Brian said and from what I've heard like they're just skipping a bunch of info that just because there's just no time but also to um, agree with Sasha. I also do. I just feel like, like I don't. I'm not like when I watch the episode or this show. Like I'm not really excited for it. It's just, it just, it feels somewhat generic. And I also just, I just, yeah, also the animation is just weird. And I, I also just don't know if I, if, if I need to see the, if, if I, if I feel like the show is going to be, um, like emotional or if it's, you know, comedy or if it's action. It's kind of jumping all over the place. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like the No Game No Life Zero. Where it'll just be like comedy, but also it'll just be like. <laughs> okay, I don't, think, I don't think the pace, like the tonal shift, is that bad. bad. It's not that bad, no. Okay. It's but it, it's, but this last episode where they have like those just stupid faces and funniness, then all of a sudden you just drop the stuff about the the horn guy, but none of us care about the horn guy, so it was just, uh, it, it's I don't know, I, it's a, there's just no sympathy there, and it, I'm like Sasha, you know, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, take that horn guy. <laughs> that's my. That's, that's, yeah, that's, I I wish it was a long running show, so I don't have to worry like if they're gonna get everything done in this first season. So, do you think it's gonna be long running? Uh, when I say long running, I mean like there's a, it's like a, a episode every week, so you don't have to worry about seasons. So I feel like they're gonna. Split I think I think it's gonna be successful enough that I think they will keep doing it, but I think it's gonna be like maybe one season every one or two years. So. Is it I, worthy enough to be considered shonen? What do you mean? It feels like what shonen. Worthy, yeah. like I, I, I see shonen as a genre, so I don't really like. I, mean, I would say this new, fits all the criteria of being shonen. When I say shonen, I mean like, are you? I think shonen is like a title that's. You think it's like a like a uh, like a. Kind of like like a yeah a title or like a prestige of like yeah. I just see really it, I see it as a genre because so. it's like it because yeah, I grew I up it. thinking shonen is like. The god of all god, I mean, like DBZ, fucking Bleach, and all that Shonen shit is just, like that. It's know? just the, it's just the, the name of the audience that the magazine is targeted for. So, yeah. So, like, I hold the title, right? Is it worthy of being? <laughs> because, like, a lot of the shows, a lot of shows are like are 
considered shonen because they're aimed at a, at a young uh, teenage audience, teenage male audience. So, Brian, if you're trying to pose the question, like, is this on the same level as a lot of popular shonen? I would say so far, with the amount of hype it got going into its anime release, I would say it hasn't gotten to that point. Like, Naruto starts off very quickly. I don't know if you guys remember, but literally, it's like Naruto fights that guy for the scroll. It gets emotional right away. Yeah. You're like, wow. You yeah. get to see uh, his his parents fight and how, why they're sacrificed to the village. That starts off quickly. One Piece gets you in right away with Luffy's story about becoming a pirate and him meeting Shanks. Bleach, I remember, it has a slower buildup, but it's just like the character designs and the artwork is really cool. Um, obviously, without going into like all these other examples, but Hunter x Hunter, Fullmetal Alchemist, etc. All those shows, within like three episodes, you get a taste of, damn, this is either going to be really good or it's going to be really bad. This yeah. show is just somewhere in the middle where you're like, eh, it's decent so far. But I, I also think mentioning what I did earlier where the hype was really high for shows this season in terms of this specific show. Cause everyone's like, yeah, tower of God, you gotta watch this. A lot of the anime people on YouTube are like top five shows, tower of God. It was within the top three for most people, if I'm being fair. And I think coming in with that, it gave it just that little bit higher level of expectation. I don't think it's living up to that. I feel like it's just like a, it's decent. It, it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong, but it's not something that like I look at it as in terms of levels, if you if you can get me emotionally hooked, that adds a level. And the other thing is like, do I think about the show after I watch it? Like, do I go back and think about a moment or what this means or what this character was doing? I don't, and I just kind of forget about it afterwards. So it's it takes my mind off of something for half an hour, but that's really it. Yeah, I also think um, a big reason why like, I think more people are talking about it now is because this season is just you know. You know, shambles of what it, what it was going to be, and I think there's just limited shows to watch right now that are actually airing mm -hmm. every week that people are interested in, and I, and I think that at this point it's just like I mean, God of War has got a or, uh, Tower of God, God. <laughs> Tower of God is right up there. <laughs> shows how much you care yeah. about the show. I was yeah. watching the extreme. Uh, yeah, I'll just no, I, I agree. Oh, I'll just no, mention no, that's all real say. quick that Peter also well Peter's like like parents caught up to him the the webtoon now and he was also saying that like, <laughs> yes he was also saying that um he probably thinks the manga or that the anime skips a lot of things in the manga so that's where i mainly got it from was Sasha, or that was uh peter yeah oh that was your source uh one of them uh the that's other one fine. Was basically brian telling me about it too uh and i also believe taylor was telling me about it too uh she hasn't really read too far in the f in ahead i don't think Maybe well, she has. I don't remember. So I just think um, it's just one of those shows where it's like, yeah, it like the first season probably won't. It's probably like too slow for like a good first impression. Most of the people hyping me up is probably from like the middle of the manga or something. So yeah, but I do yeah. think though that the show will just be considered as success. It'll be successful just because, like oh, I said, there's yeah. very little shows. Well, that and also like, uh, I think for a web two and like, uh, just the licensing cost is probably and production cost is probably like way lower than a regular regular manga or light novel yeah. so they don't need they don't need much to succeed so that's why i think they'll make another season just because like i think the the bar is set low for them to succeed hmm. yeah. all right so i guess that's that'll be it for tower of god and then we're gonna move on next to um Gleipnir. uh so this was a huge episode because i i remember how last week we were talking about how we were worried about like where the direction in the show was gonna be and then this episode, like, just turned it up, like, like all the way back to the action. So, yeah, which is why I'm sad that Ku isn't here because he was the one who was the most, <laughs> most on the fence yeah. about the show. Yeah, that's too yep. bad. Yeah. So, Ku, shout out to you. Your thoughts and prayers are with us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get your thoughts next week, yeah. and hopefully, the move has has gone well. Uh, yeah. Keep go ahead, David. I'm sorry. sorry. I mean, just. The big thing is we talk about is just the, the transformation. So, like, because I guess apparently Shuichi has, like, a hidden, like, some hidden power where when he gets gets mad, he gets, he can, like, fuse together with the person inside him and just, like, so I guess, like, his original form is, is, like, he, was it, he needs someone inside him to help out, like, complete what he's missing. But then I guess his transformation form is, like, he becomes, or... I guess he he like he like refines himself more into the person inside him, and I guess like brings out their powers. So 
it seems like he he brought more of the powers of the girl inside with like her animal form. So yeah, I'll be honest. When I first saw it, I just thought like he was an abortion gone wrong, and then <laughs> blah, I'm like, oh gosh, he's dead after this. Like I don't oh, understand oh, yeah. that part at yeah. all. Because when he got squished like a tube of toothpaste, oh, I thought. Right. All right, that's it. Game over. <laughs> Dunzo. And then turns into this like Naruto nine tails looking thing. And I was like, hmm, okay, so what happens after this? The, like when he shapeshifts back to himself, because I right, remember when he got his head ripped off and now he has the scar. Is he just gonna be like a giant turd <laughs> with like squished organs? Like, hey guys. So oh, God. yeah, that that completely caught me off guard. I thought okay, yeah. I thought I thought at first it was like an illusion. I thought the power was like he was like like making him hallucinate that he was getting squish, and then if, if the plot was to be like he would like turn back to normal, I was not expecting the transformation at all. So, dude, I do not like that prick of a kid's transformation. That's <laughs> super just... yeah. like <laughs> who does his voice? His voice sounds eerily familiar to me. I, I don't know, I didn't look it up. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll find that out next time. But oh man, his look reminds me of uh Edward from Full Metal from Alchemist. Alchemist. I was kind of thinking about that too, yeah. I was like, dude, what's he doing? His arm's fine. Yay. <laughs> and then he gets his... By the way, what do you... He has his mom you, and dad now. Yeah, I immediately thought of you guys. I was like, what, what do you guys think about the art design for mom and dad? <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie. Back in high school, we, <laughs> we watched a Spanish video called like Tenochtelan. And it was about these old Aztec ladies rolling around in the ground. And let's just say certain body parts were flopping. And that's exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> and the, I was like, <laughs> in, the, in the anime notes, I was gonna put some about like you know we we watched a National Geographic, but I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, um, dude, that that was insane. Those, yeah, the, I, uh, yeah, they they didn't censor those really. <laughs> yep, they were just there. They look like those uh, salamis <laughs> that are like wrapped up <laughs> <laughs> in those super nice and neat. Plastic seals, I don't know what you call them. Dude, but it actually fits perfectly. Now I'm not going to be able to see anything else oh besides God. fucking salami. I don't know salami you can see at the grocery store. Salami. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how we roll, baby. Um, yeah. I, I don't even know. That 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 episode was just crazy. Srenton, your your um, prediction of lawyer suit guy being the strongest seems like sure. it's accurate. Nailed it. I also He's the thought of... Right. Yeah. Well, well, well I, I don't think he's gonna. we're going to see him fight now, though. But, I mean... They said he's the strongest. We still don't know what he actually does. And I almost nailed it because I thought, like, when they, when they, when they first, when they, their, their uh, group picked up the wallet, and I was just like, and then they said, oh, like, and then they're obviously looking for the wallet, and I immediately thought, like, she's dead. And then of course the tooth, you know, toothpaste situation happened. I was like, well, there it is. And then uh, even though when they transformed, I thought, like, you know, kind of like uh, what you said, Sasha, where like after the transformation, what's gonna happen? And yeah. it's it, it, somehow he just somehow he. Um, Regenerated. I think and because don't know so there was a there was that flashback where um so it shows that in Shuichi's memories apparently like he knew I, I guess he was dating Elena, Elena somehow like w- back whoa, then. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Coming to conclusions, bro. Yeah. We don't know okay. that. Maybe they're just good friends. Yes, bro. good friends holding hands. I mean, yeah, didn't you hold friends with your childhood friend, bro? <laughs> David, no. he technically just did become toothpaste. I mean, he could be, you know, mess, missing some stuff. Yeah, I'm that. not going to lie. Those flashbacks, I was like, what's going on? I was exactly. shocked by, you had the salami <laughs> flopping. <laughs> you had oh Full Metal Alchemist <laughs> making a comeback. Ah, that was too much stimulation for me to understand these flashbacks with this rock star drink, man. <laughs> High school Spanish b- movies popping up. Dude, y'all asking too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, but I feel like the. I mean, I kind of like what um, I think. Uh, I, I follow Brian, thinking that there might be just like uh, not like true memories, um, unless for some reason he ended up somehow like losing his memories at some point, or I think I, um, I or what, what, what is it when they when they they lose all all memories? What amnesia. is that? <laughs> amnesia. Amnesia. Yeah, maybe he has some sort of amnesia. That's or he think. might be just being yeah. fit. Okay. So, which is weird. And then that guy in the vending machine, he's like, oh, man, I'm starting to dream. So how, how is he connected to all of this? Because it's just weird. I do have a theory. I think that keychain that she has of the dog um, was given to her by him before he went amnesic or whatever happened. 
And so she's like, yeah, turn him into this because I think he might remember what we had. He used to wear glasses, right? All that good stuff. Yeah, that's actually good. So I I don't know. It's I'm telling you guys, Gleipnir is just it's just by far the more interesting show for me this season. Um, It keeps you guessing because every episode I thought, all right, they meet these weaklings. Now they're going to show these guys struggle. Nope. They're going to use the camera guy to get the footage, and bam! We, <laughs> like every episode is a completely different. Um, it's just like very unpredictable compared to the last episode. Brian, yeah. I yeah, want to segue to you because I know you were you had the same sentiments as Ku, where you were uh, very on the fence about the etchiness of the show and whether or not you would continue uh, liking it. I know you said you'd watch it, but you were like, I don't know if I really enjoy it. What are your thoughts uh... after this episode? This episode, I was like, meh. Like, the fighting scene was meh. Right. It wasn't really... It wasn't that impact that I wanted in a fight scene, you know? It was just... It was le- it was legit. What's his face's oh. name? Jumping around for, like, almost 10 minutes of just getting almost manhandled. Just getting tossed against... Tr- he he destroyed, like, at least four trees, bro. Do you know how bad that okay. is for the, okay. the environment? This is the first time he's actually transformed in this. Uh, do you, like, I'm pretty sure he has no clue what was just going on. Bro, when you're um, mad, you know how strong you dude, are? This dude is getting who... tossed like a rag okay, doll, okay, bro. Okay. Did you see who he got fused with? He got fused with a chick with animal ears. She doesn't You're both power. mad, bro, still. It doesn't matter. She doesn't have any power. Like, okay, like if he fused with uh, the, you know, like the, the dude that's with Claire right now, I maybe it's just, I think it would just be insane. Same thing. Yeah. Or, I'm not ready for that costume, costume bro. bro. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm not ready You're for that guy to enter. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm just saying, like, for for him to do that, he'd have to let that dude enter his suit. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I don't know if I'm ready for that, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Shuichi. <laughs> he can't just be letting everybody in. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll dial it back. We'll say Claire then. Like, if, if, if it ended up being with Claire... Then uh, where it seems like uh, with Claire in the suit, like it does seem like they get a power boost. I mean, it's still nothing compared to like it seems like any of these people, except the the green uh, the green frog guy. But that's about it. It's yeah. hard. I don't know, man. What? Here's my oh. thing. What if he fell asleep in that form? And I've heard that uh, raccoons they could open up tents, right? Like they can actually get get the zipper and just. Zoop. So what if a raccoon just stumbled <laughs> upon in there? I was like, ah. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead, sir. Okay. What? I got nothing. No. So I'll just oh, say okay. that um uh so because um okay, Cern was saying something about uh how he how you guess about oh, okay someone said something about like the guesses so I I'm thinking that um in the flashback. I think what happened was I think they're implying that uh, Chuichi died somehow when he was with Elena, and they found like that one, like they were like, they were nearby some sort of shadowy thing on the ground. I think yeah they're implying that Chuichi died, so the reason why Elena took the drink was to save Chuichi, and the reason why she like she picked and the dog form was just like a consequence of her like just trying, she just wasn't thinking or panicking, and she was trying to save save his life and then i think that's why maybe that's why his memory is missing too is because like because like maybe he doesn't remember much before what happened before he got the suit so that's that's my prediction hmm. is, this, is this all and new also to you then, and, and also what is this all new to you then too yeah i don't know what's going on okay. here and also um the the alien guy i think he only remembers when uh elena like put put in the the coin and i think that's what the flat well that's what he was like uh, reminiscing about is when she came over and put the coin in. I think that's the only thing he remembers. He doesn't know anything about like what, what, what uh, Shuichi and Elena. So yeah, because that flashback made it seem like that was like the first coin that was put in the machine because he himself came out. I don't know what the first I, I, coin. I don't think, well, I don't think he's because te- he, the previous other other coins that we've seen, like you know the other characters. I don't think we've seen because uh, it, it was just the drink, right? And he was just there. Right, as far as we know. Okay, yeah. As far, as okay. Know. I don't think I don't know. I don't yeah. know if you can assume. I'm pretty sure you can assume that like more people have been using the, the drink besides Elena or before Elena. Okay. Also, and and also like <laughs> got, okay, well, in the flash, okay, in the flashback too. Um, we had we sh- it showed Chuichi with a drink too, so he 
he could have been the, like the one who had the, the coin before uh, Elena as well. So maybe he had something yeah. to do with like, like maybe he had something to do with like bringing in Elena, and then Elena yeah. like, and then maybe he died, and then like Elena had to save him. So that's what I'm thinking. Brian, why did you think that picture? Um. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I thought there was. I don't no know point. how you come back for that, dude. I don't care. That's what exactly what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. come on, man. But, uh, but anyway, to like the, the there was the point of the fight. I still think it was just because, like, I mean, I, I think it has it has to depend on like the person he's fusing with as well, like, because she, one, she had she really had no anger. It was just like all Shuichi. and then uh, and then also like I said, she really has no power abilities. But I'm I'm guessing though, like if that were to happen with Claire or somebody else that actually has like abilities, I think it would be a lot more, I guess, impactful. So Brian, and also, we have no idea. How, we have no idea how strong Edward is. So, so Brian, think, if you're there, oh, can you... oh, so... go ahead, David. I was gonna say for the picture. That's why I think like maybe, um, the... <laughs> oh my God, Brian. So like when when like he's when they're like. Yeah, when they're like torn, like crushed and like ripped in half, I think, I think I think I use like explanation that, that like the reason why Shuichi has regenerative powers is because he died before, and that's how he, he comes back to life is because like is the is that flashback when uh, Lena like wished for him to come back. I think like part of his power is re- regeneration. So I think that's how they're explaining it. So, but but what about when his head got like removed and then he had to do, he had to take another drink? He did and then they yeah. would just hold it for a while like super glue. Yeah. My question uh, is during the flashback, Elena mentions something like he becomes whatever. I forgot what the exact line was, but it gives a hint to his power or it gives some type of insight. But I'm curious yeah. what that line was. With but what line? I, think, I think the line was something like uh about how like where like it, you know like the other person fills the emptiness. Yeah, like he becomes time? what. It, yeah. yeah, so maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I think because he has such an emotional connection with Claire, and then she has so much trust in him. Uh-huh. If they transform together, it would be like Godzilla style, where it's just like, oh man, ultra powerful. But because this girl's newer, it's just this like out of control, weird rabies rabbit thing. So that was a really weird transformation. I think yeah. I it think was like it was, a, okay. was like a terrible uh, Naruto tra- uh, transfer. I think he was talking about it him himself, does. like when like he becomes like what he's missing. I think he was talking about himself. I don't know. If- that's what that was what Elena was saying to him. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there, there's so many like different ways that this show can go, and it just, I just think it's this just episode so had a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's uh, even with like the whole, even with like etchiness. Um, it's just, I mean, it's like what we've said many times. Like, it just works well. It's not they don't just throw it in there just because. <laughs> okay. Except the last episode, like the previous episode was warm. Where like, okay, it it might be going into you know the stepping those bounds, but. Uh, I think it dialed it back this one though, it, it, even though with even with uh, the salamis. But hey, man, salamis for the win. Yeah, yeah, apparently, and apparently, like his ability is really strong. Even though I don't really get like usually people with like those that type of ability where they have just like some giant thing, they're just weak usually. Like or they 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 see they seem really strong at the beginning, but then like towards the end game, like they're just awful. Because yeah. I guess like because I guess Shuichi would have. Would have killed him if it yeah. wasn't for uh, yeah. So it well, would have just ended right there. Because he was about to shoot the gun, yeah. So guns, guns, my bad. Wielding, which I thought was pretty cool. Like when they first pulled it up, I was like, oh damn, he still has those. Well, There's gotta cool. be some sort of meeting. Well, I mean, it's cool the guns upgraded because his regular form is just a regular like, like dude. I'd rather revolver, have revolver, and then like it. I'd rather have like... a revolver. <laughs> the revolver looks so sick, and then you just have like these little uh, these like tiny little like little slick guns. Even though like, uh, do you think? Do you think the like the guns have some sort of like, I guess connection with Shuichi? Since it seems like two transformations and he's had guns both times. Maybe he was gunned down. Maybe actually, I didn't even think about that. Maybe that that, that could be his death, David. Maybe that's what. Uh, uh, gunned down. His I don't know. I think I think he was killed by like the shadowy thing. I th- I think the gun was like part of like the keychain or something. I don't know. Or maybe his dog. Put a gun in its mouth and accidentally <laughs> bit the trigger and shot him in the face. And Elena was so mad that she murdered the dog and put him into that little keychain and <laughs> and, and made, made she with you the dog. Okay. That's right, guys. That's so deep levels uh, levels, guys. Again, Sasha, if you're if you're correct, I'll give you twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know I, I can't wait to find out more. That's that's. That's the big thing about a show is, is it, like you can't wait till the next episode. So uh, I'm very curious to see 
what it happens from here on out because it just keeps throwing you a different curveball every episode. Yes. Hebrew National Beef Salami. I'm out. Yep. <laughs> Sponsored by... <laughs> <laughs> hey mom hey dad I was like, <laughs> i'm like oh no and plus he's naked too when they got him in his hands that that's the part that's messed up man like wait was I he get, i'm at least he was shirtless right yeah he was probably naked yeah. yeah yeah i'm talking about full metal alchemist yes <laughs> yeah yeah For some reason when he when he transforms he like he just goes naked and then yeah. So yeah, the show got, it's got a, a lot of questions that need answering, but I don't. I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> okay, so he, he was actually fully nude. Brian, can we confirm this? Uh, I look at me, Brian. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Zim, I don't... By the way, spread that phrasing of that question. We don't, Yo, we guys, don't even know about I'm that. Trend, right? <laughs> it was like my pineapple express Google day. Yep. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else say anything for else for the show? Uh, show of the season. <laughs> Agreed. Right. Yeah. Brian, I mean, are you in? Nah, but uh, uh, and all the shots that they showed of Subaru, it all showed waist up. So we can. Yeah, but I told you, it, it can be implied because it's just weird, man. He's between their toes, technically, isn't he? <laughs> no, <it's>, yeah, <laughs> he actually is. Yeah, <laughs> is it oh fingers? Oh my god, yeah. That's <laughs> oh their god. feet, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because it's four arms. You're right. You're right. But only two beef salamis. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end it here for Clayton here. <laughs> All right. We're cutting, oh, we that. We're we're cutting that off now. So. Um, yeah, yeah, Clayton here. Yeah. So me and Stratton are going to move on next to Hame Fura. The old time. Right, enjoy. Yeah. Thanks, man. Good job. <laughs> yep. Likewise. Um, so Stratton, uh, it's... Um, Really weird things happened this episode too because they had the flashback with uh um, yeah. yeah yeah with the um I guess like the main character I don't even know her like her actual name but like Katarina's yeah, like yeah, yeah. friend but it's a Katarina yeah, yeah her her friend like they're showing her like getting sad like in the real world after she, like her she actually died which you don't really see in Isekais you don't really see what happens to their yeah. to their, their like, lives yeah, the after people. they die yeah yeah that that was actually pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it was depressing, but at the same time, because when they, when, like, earlier on, like, I think it was the last episode, we actually heard, like, maybe, like, a little clip of it, and I thought, or or maybe it was just the beginning of this episode, but it sounded like, like, just, I was thinking, I was like, damn, I was like, I was first thinking, like, did she actually, like, really go to this world, too? But I was like, no, 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 there's, there's no way. <laughs> and then I, th- then I first thought, like, oh, it's actually really, it's pretty, pretty neat to see what's going on in the real world, r- real world after, like, the MC's death. And uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, she wakes up and has a dream. And I, I at that point, it's like it could be it could be taken like different ways. I, I want to just kind of get your thoughts on which do you think like she, she actually like somehow died in the real world and became that character, or do you think like she's just having like memories of one of her friends that's just somehow going into the game? I think they're implying that that it is like because she said it was like a dream from long ago. So I wonder if like. I don't know if, oh. like, the friend died, like, shortly after, or it's, like, like, somehow, like, even, like, the friend, like, died way later, and, like, but she's, she also got reincarnated to the same world, but at the same time, it's just, if they're making it convenient like that, but I think the show is implying that, like, it is her, like, reincarnated into Sophia, so, yeah, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the, that idea, that it is her, and okay. she had, and that's why she's having the dreams, yeah, I, I really hope they go more into that because I thought like I was like first when I thought I was like wait goddamn I th- I thought it was like I, I still think it was really cool even though it was like I guess for a d- very you know depressing situation because normally like kind of how you said isekais they kind of just like have like the person died or something happened and they go into the isekai and then nothing about, about the yeah. world after that uh so it's so I thought that was I, I thought that was that was definitely something uh, different I've, I kind of many isekais I've seen. I don't know. I, I kind of don't like that. I like it. Just seems really? like okay. it seems very convenient to bring her friend back like that. I don't know. I, I just didn't like the way that was set up. But we don't know if that's actually. Her we friend. don't know if it's actually her friend. But it, it's. So, so but, hold the disappointment. But like I don't know. <laughs> like even if it's not her friend, like it if it's not her friend, it just seems very random for her to get that dream. Yeah. Like 
I, I really hope it's not out of blue. Thing. So yeah. yeah, I really hope it's not just a one-off thing they just decided to throw in there and just be like, yeah, hey, pick well, it, and then again, just move we don't on. we don't know like if it's like how many seasons this, this is supposed to go on. Like if if it's actually gonna end this season and there's more story afterwards and like what they're gonna do. So that's yeah. that's a thing. Yeah, this is a. Um, what do you think is going to happen? I guess. I. I you think this is go- only going to be a one-off show, and then you have to read the manga, or is it light novel? I think I think it's a light novel. Okay, the worst of the two. Got it. Usually, isekais are light novels, so. Oh yeah. Because they, they use because they use they used to be web novels that people wrote online, and then, mm-hmm. and then like they they turn into web now no- uh, light novels to be printed and sold in like actual bookstores. Gotcha. So I think yeah, I think there's more of the story. I just and like we're not gonna. I don't think she's gonna pick anyone at the end of the season. I think it's just gonna be open ended. Oh no, yeah, I, I think so too. It's because I don't think this show is just gonna be done after this first season. I think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna probably be more than twelve episodes. I'm gonna guess. Uh, even though we have no idea where these death flags are gonna be, and then I, I would assume that the, the this next half or like the arc would be about like the mis- like the mystery uh, the mystery route. Root oh. that we don't know. Okay. Yeah. I was just gonna mention that. You know, this episode, um, Desirian, like the the labyrinth, whatever, and then um Kyrian had that one shadowy figure that helped her. Or, or I guess something I was like that was watching over her and then it helped her at the end. So like Yeah. Yeah, it's um Do we think okay, ha- do we think it's the, the student council president if he's like the one that was watching her? God, I have no idea. It, I mean, it's it would so... feel really, like, really random if it was like some other character. Oh, I guess I don't know. I guess yeah, depending on how feel... how long like that the series goes, you'll know like who it could be. But yeah, but it also feel really random to just have like the student. Uh, I was at the just him there, like in like in the bottom of the pit. Uh, I I was first thinking it was like the it was like, the mage of like the whole story that they're you know, they kind of like the the lore that they talked about before they entered. I thought maybe that could be that, but then I also. But then it was a whole shadow thing, and I have no idea if the shadow was good or bad, um, or even connected to that person. Or I, I would assume it's connected to the person. Um, but uh, I know, uh, the, but this this part though, Taylor, Taylor hated because it was basically just showing like that, like all the girls in the show are basically like they can't do anything, and it was just the you know like the dudes doing it. Where it's like, I mean, you have you have Katarina looking for mushrooms. <laughs> she's already she's been in there oh, for like a couple oh, hours, and she's, she's already useless. in survival mode. <laughs> we already know she's useless. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But that, but the the earth bump, man. She saved him from the stump foot, just only to hit a trap. Yeah. Even though it's like she just touched every single trap in the in the maze. Yeah, basically did. Yeah. So. And then, well, it was also that, but then also it was, it was the other two girls that you know ran in and touched the wrong, uh, you know, went went uh, Aladdin on it and touched the wrong gem, and then just had like more traps happen. Um. But she didn't really like that part, even though I thought, I like, I, I thought like the beginning of the like the or the beginning of the episode was enough to really make me think, like, damn, are they actually going to be you know going more into like the real world or and just the see, actual like, magic what... of the show? Yeah, it's like the actual yeah, first or... time we really see the magic. Yeah, I'll yeah, 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 yeah. That was, and we saw what fire and wind. So I, I, um, I think because I think I think it's like one of those shows where like each person gets like one magic attribute. And it seems based on your family too. So it seems like like Sophia and her brother are like the wind family, and then I don't. And then they got uh, Gerardo. Uh, Gerardo is earth. the fire, and yeah, Katarina yeah. is earth. Katarina, I guess Keith too is earth. Yeah. So, yeah. but the thing is, like this, like the girl, like like Sophia and like and Mary. I don't see them as like as fighters, like because Mary oh, no. Mary's all about like the flowers and like and Sophia is like the bookworm. So I don't like I don't I don't really see them as like. The role is just fighters. And do we know if Mary's light magic is it considered healing or is it actually like? A you mean Maria's? Magic? Maria's, sorry. We don't really see. So, so I, I, just, I, I, I assume it's like. I assume it's just gonna be both. That's how holy magic usually works in these shows. It's it's always both. Yeah, that's true. So I don't, but I don't know. This episode I thought was. I mean, it was. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I thought it was okay. I'll, I'll, like, yeah, yeah. It, 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 like, more that... more things ahead, happen sorry. than the previous episode, so I it's I don't count it as filler. But like, I didn't. The I beginning didn't... part though, that was it. That was that, I thought that the beginning part was just really good. Yeah. And then watch they don't address it. Ever, like they don't address it again this entire season. 
and they just focus on that, which is, I mean, I guess it's fine. If they, as long as they keep moving forward with the story, it's I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't know, but just like the whole du- dungeon exploration, just it just reminds me of other like generic isekais. Like, it, oh yeah, nothing yeah. really happened. And then like, I don't know, like the economy part, the whole economy part of this was just like, was just her hunting mushrooms, which is again kind of getting repetitive. So yeah. for me at least, so I yeah. don't know, like. I, I, yeah, I guess okay. really the only, yeah, really the only way I guess like it, it moved the story forward is just like the mystery person, the mystery which person. would which would basically well I, I would I would have to go with what you said and say it's the student council president because who else would like yeah. we have nobody else. It, if it was anyone else, it feel really random. <laughs> yeah, to have them I mean, show, show really up bad. out of nowhere, unless like I think I think I can't remember. I, I think I swear you said something about how it could be some other like if. Something with the lore that like, they talked about the dungeon. The, only, the way the, sh- the show goes, like they introduce some random girl and she'd be the Doom route or something, but. Maybe, oh, no, I didn't think about that. Maybe, like, if she's like the mystery person, but, like, it sounds like. Okay. It's not like the mystery, but the mystery person is helping her out, so that when they were making yeah. sense. So. I, I mean, I my guess was just like the Doom route was going to be the student council president. I still think that that's like the mystery route that we just, uh, like, they haven't actually said, but it just seems like it. Um, but I I don't know. It, we'll I guess we'll see. <clears throat> I'm still really liking the show. It's I, I think it's 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 a different it's a different isekai than what I'm normally used to seeing. So it could be because it's a reverse harab too. So it's I'm not used just, to so this, many dudes. Just this mate, this middle part is just dragging out for me. So like, yeah, I'm looking yeah. more forward to the end when the, the plot actually moves. Yeah, it's got to be getting close to that time soon. Was we have. S- well, halfway through the season, pretty much, six, almost halfway. Six episodes. Yeah, I think it's six episodes. I can, I can check. We have. Oh, we have five episodes left. So we're uh, we're getting there. It's almost done, and then we can move on and <laughs> hopefully hype up summer. But that's all I got. All right, so we're at, we're in there for Hanefura, and then. I'm gonna go uh, next to Kaya-sama. I solo it this week because Ku's not here, so feels bad, man. But um, this was because uh, last week they were um, they were leading up to the student council election, and this is the episode where like um, it's basically just uh, Miko and uh, Shirogane just I mean on the debate stage, and it it, it looked like Shirogane was just kind of sweep the whole thing because he had it in the bag but he did the the nice thing and like actually helped out Miko and so that was really nice that was really nice that like she um got more got more um character development uh and it's nice that like um that she like that she was actually able to speak her mind even though like she was basically like fed the answers or fed like fed the leading questions by Shogane but Overall, it was a really nice episode. Uh, nothing. That was like the main point. It was like that debate stage and then the aftermath. So nothing, nothing really too much. It was more of a of a like feel good moment for Miko. Like just have her character development and for her to shine like that. And so, I guess. And then we we do know she's gonna join the student council pres- uh, student council later. So we'll see how it, what she brings to to that group. So that'll be interesting to see how she interacts with everyone else for the week after that. Um, oh, and then, oh yeah, and then Kaguya too. Like there was the whole part about the the other section was about Kaguya and how she felt like really she felt uh, very left out about from because because the president basically like almost like screwed over their their election by helping out Miko, but um, but I mean overall she's she's still but uh, she's still like vice president and like following the group so that's pretty nice um like besides so just besides the feel good moment we had with um with uh miko and then just like the just uh kaguya going through her her emotions like that's all that really happened for kaguya someone not much i can say it's, it's like there's not much to say for this show every week and it's hard to solo so i'm just gonna and Is... then, oh go ahead Hold on, real quick. Is this show like? Is this supposed to be like the? F- this isn't supposed to be the final season, right? Like, it's going to be continuing after this. Uh, I mean, it, the manga's still ongoing, so. So it'll it'll keep going. I, okay, I, I think it's and I think it's popular enough to have another season. So I, I hope they make more. 
because the trend has been like making more seasons of like popular shows for streaming sites. I was gonna say like I think it's what like I know I know you don't like anime lists, but I think like uh, on like the top why shows like on most... why, why do you think Sorry, that? like most watched? Yeah, Kaguya is number one. It's just, I'm like, pretty sure this season it's the most watched in China for at least one of their really? popular, for their popular How streaming come? sites. Any reason why? Uh, well, a lot of anime either get censored or banned in China, and so rom coms usually don't get censored or banned. And Got it. Like, it was already this is already a, this is a popular show in general on the in general, not and then it was popular in Japan and then it's also popular outside Japan. So I can see the reason why it's popular in China. So I, I so yeah, I know it's definitely the most one of the most popular shows streaming in China right now. So. So that I can just, and it's just I think even even about that it's just popular in Japan, so I can see it getting another season and hopefully make another season. So I know a lot of people like the show, but uh, yes, no. that's all you need to say. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stop there. So that's just it for Kaguya Summer. It's hard. It's hard to talk about the show. It was like you just you just we'll watch have, you just watch it. You don't really. Yeah, we'll have. Um, I mean, Cool will be back hopefully next week, and then uh, he can just kind of give his two cents on. Yeah. Um, I mean, what, what I, happened this week, so. there's nothing really much to say because, like, yeah, you just you just watch it and enjoy it, and then you talk with your friends how much you enjoy it. It's not much, much to discuss, really. That's what happened to Kakushigoto. <laughs> it's just a it's just a, it's just a slight, nice slice of life, and uh, but there's really nothing to talk about. Yeah, yeah this is a nice rom com. So, so that's gonna be it for Kagesama. Uh, then we'll move on to our final show for which is um Sing Yesterday for me. Uh, this is still like yeah my top underrated show of the season. Um, this was a really this this was uh, another this was a big episode that landed on a cliffhanger with oh god like I wish Ku was here because like oh, we would have a lot to say about the ending but let's see what what happened this episode was another it was another focus on Ro, Ro and Shinako and again like I don't really feel much for Ro I think Ku can agree too that, like we both just don't really care about he's like he's definitely the weakest character of the group and i don't know just like just again I, f- I feel bad for the guy because he's always being like compared to his brother and he's trying to like live outside his brother's shadow but then like he's still like super attached to shinako and he's just, like i don't know like i think he's just wasting his time like just like just have her as he just have her as a family friend and like just because she's still so like she's still so hung up on her brother his brother's death that like and i know he's he's he he thinks he's like making a big move by saying like he'll like he'll be better than his brother but like this episode basically shows too like that yeah she doesn't see anything as sees him as anything more than just a little brother and then also that like and yeah she's like she admits herself this finally and stuff that she's using um like his brother as an excuse to run away maybe she finally realizes that she, like because I, I probably also because of what Ro did like like trying so hard to to uh trying so hard to like to make her notice him that like she's actually noticing more about her feelings for Rikuo so so in a way basically like push her towards Rikuo because like like because they're both like like Rikuo is like so much more mature than Ro so that's why I think they're the better the better like it's like he's the better like pair for her just because like just sounds depressing. well because like because rose like he's a high school kid and like he's just he's, he's not mature enough for her so like and he's just he's he's just has such an inferior complex towards his brother because yeah because because he's he's battling an uphill battle like with with being compared to his brother so that's why like i think he's just i don't know just, was his was his brother like um um, I guess was he, uh, was he like high? Like was he actually like doing well or doing bad? Like, I have no idea what happened to his brother. The brother was he was sick. He was like always sick, and that's why oh. um, Shinako was always with him. Because I mean, she was on, she was in love with him too, but he was always sick, and then he died. Yes, because I know you love those stories, friend. So he so and he died when they weren't when when she and him was in high school, and she's been thinking about him ever since high school, and so. And then, and kind of, it's kind of, kind of her fault too, because like, because every time she sees Ro, like she says, like, "Oh, you're growing tall like your brother," 
oh hey like you when when you wash your dishes like that it kind of reminds me of your brother and like and what a random ass comparison like who who just sees the, the like how they do the dishes yeah so like, that's that's why like i you remind I, me of somebody like that's why i feel bad for bro because like yeah he's always saying because like because that's kind of her fault for like like she can't let like go but at the same time, like her brother's not mature enough to handle that 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 baggage, so that's why. That's why, like, I don't like. I really don't care about Ro and his struggles. Like, I don't think he's, yeah, he's just not mature for her, enough for her. So, and then the cliffhanger of this week's episode is when, uh, is like when Shinako was like talking about how she she was admitting her like that she was running. She was talking about her problems with Ro with Rikuo. And so she, like, she admits it, like, yeah, she's using, like, Rose Brother's death as an excuse to run away. And then she was, like, she's talking to Riku about how, like, how, like she realizes that, like, she, 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 she said this line about how, oh, I realize maybe I'm the type of person that needs to be pushed, or, like, to, to realize my feelings. And when Ro was, like, trying to do that for me, it made me realize about my feelings and she was like talking to Rico directly about this and then the cliffhanger is like is when like um because they were talking outside her apartment and like a neighbor comes out and they're like oh sorry about that i will be out your way and then like Rico says like oh my bad like we shouldn't we shouldn't be talking about this like like maybe let's still find some place to talk more about this and then the final like line is shinako tells them would you like to come in and that's the end of the episode so that was like the big moment, and so we're gonna see if anything actually happens next episode. If we get, if we just gotta get like just teased and then just just denied, like anime always does, or is actually gonna like do something. So, what they have, they have a random episode number of eighteen um, to uh, to work it out. I, right? I, I don't know if it's eighteen or not. Like that's what I heard on Reddit, so I'm gonna assume twelve for now. I can check it. I'm just assume twelve for now, but. So that was, that's a big thing. Like we don't know. Like like we'll see if anything actually happens. Because it seems like this show that it, it seems like they're trying to pair up like Rico and Haru, like because they're always like together to like or hanging out together. And like it seems like Haru is just so fixated on Rico. So we'll, it is. It is eighteen. It is eighteen. Okay. So yeah. so if it's eighteen, then maybe because this is only like episode six or seven or seven or eight so maybe they'll do the, the thing the thing they do in like in other romance show anyways is like they'll they'll start dating and then they'll break up and then he'll that he'll get to get back he'll get with haru after they break up is how this usually goes this is how this is how like romance sh- and anime shows goes about harms or or love triangles it's like yeah they, they like they always end up dating the side the side girl and then they break up and then they end up with the main girl that's that's how like these love triangles shows as you go if you go on long enough so so we'll we'll see like yeah if it's 18 episodes i can i can actually see them dating and then like recruit like either recruit or shinako just breaks up with him just because like because they because one of them i think maybe shinako realizes that he's better with haru and like and, and like maybe like she's still like hung up on like the brother's death this whole so time it's- so is this one of those type of shows where it's just like, and you you say it's for a life triangle? Like, will you feel bad? Like, let's say if if he does end up with somebody, will you feel bad for the other, for the other one, or are you just not like one of them? I feel more bad for Haru because she's the better girl. Honestly, she's like the better choice. I think I don't I don't think Ku likes Shinako as much either, and so <laughs> I like I don't think he would like the pairing. But I think I think he would like just for Rico just to be happy and just be finally with the girl he loves, but. I think most fans would rather wish she was with Haru. So I just ask because I know in uh you know, whenever we finally get the the last season of Snafu, that if, if Hachiman does end up with anybody, I will feel so bad for the other two. So I, I was just wondering if this is one of those situations <laughs> as well. But I'm just I had to drop I, Snafu in there. I'm missing the show so bad. Well it's got air well I, I think they I think we talked about it. They got it's they got it's July. July but still, like yeah. I think they announced it that it's scheduled for July, so I think they should be done by now. But, um, but like this show, like yeah, it, they're 
that's leaning heavy on Haru and like the fan base of Haru. I think some people like sympathize with Shinako. I I don't like like I sympathize with Shinako, but um like I still like I just don't like how much like I don't like how much she's so hung up on the death of the brother and Ku Ku thinks I'm being too harsh on her, but like that's just my thoughts. Like I think like it's been like seven years since high school and like she's like laying it like laying it um linger linger like and like not letting her go forward with new relationships so so i can't wait for actually to come back next week that's my thoughts that's my thoughts like i think she's lingering for too long and ku thinks i'm being too harsh on her and like i probably like so so will this still hold for next week when uh you and ku finally clash we'll we'll see like because i think i think when we were both like haru but i don't i don't mind like the uh, Chinako pairing just because like because they're they're also they're at the rich same maturity level so like so like because because Haru like um when when she was like mad about the misunderstanding of like his ex like being in his apartment like she like took it on on pretty pretty I don't know pretty bad like she like she was super upset and I understand that but like it just really made made you see how like how immature compared to i mean like Riku's not the not he's not the most mature guy either but he's still like older so that's why i don't mind the pairings of the the two college the two college grads so we'll see i will stop asking questions that's, i think that's all i had to say for this week like like v and ku this should have been the, the time we were we were going big on this episode but i think i think the reaction to next week's episode will be big too so uh, looking forward to that next as well week. Yeah. next week yeah so that's gonna be it for this week's episode um slowly progressing through spring i know strand like you you just want to get to summer but oh man it's it's gonna go in slow i mean i i mean of the one show that i thought was going to be good it definitely was not great near i mean i, I thought i was just watching it i was just gonna watch it because it's like oh etchiness me all over it and then it, ended up, it just happened to be really good <laughs> so Damn, but so. so I have one show to carry me through for now. Sorry. But do, but but summer will be. I mean, if all these shows just get packed, pushed back to summer, like I mean, summer is just summer is going to be huge. There's so many shows. Okay. If they all hold. if they all make it, because we don't know yeah. what else is going to get delayed. <sighs> just give me snafu. Because um, speaking of Fire Force, that wasn't Fire Force supposed to be in summer as well. Oh god! But we don't we haven't heard anything about it, okay. so. We can do we can do after the podcast talks where it's just I'll, I'll, I'll mark this as so just like, random because like anime talk. I think I'm sure every Fire Force and Doctor Stone are supposed to be summer, but like no one's made any announcement. Oh my god! Yeah. So yeah. I'm so, assuming they're gonna be delayed. <laughs> so these are just some of the top shows that for like next season that we if if it holds, we have Razero, Snafu, Sword Art, Damachi, Fire Sorry. Force, High Q. Um, God, what else is there? It's so it's like that's just like on the top there. Well, I mean, all then we by the way. So. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the other shows that are currently on hold, like Digimon. Um, what? Shokugeki. Shokugeki. It's it's just like it's just so many shows. I mean, I, I think we're we're going to have to put like a time limit on our podcast because it's going to be very very long. I mean, especially fall, since fall season. We, fall season is pretty long with like oh, all the shows we had. Yeah. So. Yep. And if and then God of High School as well, if that holds. So it's just oh, gonna yeah. be I know me and Brian are excited for that show. I don't know about anybody else. No, I'm excited too. <clears throat> okay, good. And I'm sure cool will like it too. Actually, yeah. Sasha might Sasha might actually be interested in the show as well. Um, but we'll we'll kind of get his thoughts when we do like this you know, was it season season review episode or uh, what was it? I'm, I feel like I'm saying the wrong word. Preview but, uh, preview. Preview. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> yeah, season preview episode where that's going to be probably like insane. It's going to be very well. weird because we already talked about our previews for shows that were delayed. So we'll probably just do yeah. a quick, quick rundown yeah. and not linger too long on them. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of shows though that we have not that like we have not talked about, but the previous episodes, yeah, we don't have to like linger for very long. Yeah. But I cannot promise what happens with Snafu though. Yeah, we still got. I'm very scared. So a month and a half. So just wait. Hold on. Hold on. That strand. Just hold. Oh my God. Dude, you had to make me wait for winter. Look at this. No, not winter. I didn't make you yeah, wait. That was, that was. Wait, no. Spring, spring, spring. Yeah, no. I didn't make you wait. That's that was COVID, that was the anime. All right. Fucking COVID. 
All right, so that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Uh, I want to thank the listeners for for listening to me. Shout out to Johan and Caitlin in chat. Thanks for being here this week. Thanks for supporting us. <laughs> want to thank Nick the, me want to thank the panel up. for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. Love your insight every week. <laughs> every week. No problem, man. Yeah. And right, you bro. <laughs> all right, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Gracias, mi gente. Yee.